We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva. I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Francis Wamakoto Wangusi, who is Director General of the Communications Commission of Kenya. Mr. Wangusi, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Uh, thank you for welcoming me to the studio. Now, Kenya is a supporter of ITU Telecom events and will be present at ITU Telecom World in November 2013. What value do you see in attending such events? In the first place, I need to say that really um, we have been a supporter of the ITU Telecom events for quite some time now. And in the recent past, we have not been missing any of the events that ITU has, has held. And this is because we have uh, uh, quite achieved a lot through attending the events of the ITU Telecoms including the transfusion of technology and, uh, of course, innovation in new services, which has helped us also to transfer the same to our own country. And indeed, I can say as of now, we have realized the value uh, of uh, ICT in terms of the diversity of applications that have emerged in Kenya as a result of this exposure. What are the main areas where you see ICT bringing concrete benefits to the lives of ordinary people in Kenya? One is uh, um, in uh, ICT in itself has now been a, a kind of a fiber in terms of enabling the social economic development in Kenya. It's being adopted in all the pillars of our economy and uh, Kenyans have uh, uh, embraced it in quite some uh, activities uh, in terms of economic development in Kenya. I should cite, for example, uh, the cases of applications of the ICTs as being on top of the range in Kenya in all the sectors, be it, be it agriculture, be it uh, e-commerce, uh, be it health, and, and many others. And what are the principal challenges that you face as a regulator in times of such radical transformation in the ICT industry? Indeed, um, as a regulator, we work on the basis of policy and law. And uh, I, I must admit that uh, the rapid transformation in technologies in the ICT sector is making us work extra hard in order to make the laws that would be able to be consumerate with the changes that the ICT sector has brought. And Kenya is facing the same, and I don't think we are in isolation. We believe that uh, um, as a regulator, uh, of course, uh, in as much as possible within the limitations of the law, we also have to try and make sure that we don't nap uh, in the nib uh, the, the, the advantages that ICT is, is bringing, but at the same time ensuring that we protect the users of the same ICT services in the country. So what are your priorities in terms of the regulatory field in Kenya? Well, uh, one of our key priorities in terms of the regulation, uh, and the regulatory uh, environment in Kenya is first of all to create an enabling environment for innovation. Uh, and that is key with us. At the same time, uh, we are uh, cognizant of the fact that we should provide a secure environment for the ICT services to flourish. So cyber security issues are quite um, at, uh, at, at, at the top of uh, our, our priority lists. We also need to uh, repeal our archaic laws, which we are trying to do in order to be consumerate with the new services and challenges that have been brought by the ICTs. And uh, as, a, as a regulatory institution, we are working hand in hand uh, with the service providers and the technology innovators to ensure that at least we, we, br we bring Kenya up to speed in terms of the applications of the ICT services and more. No wonder we have proven that uh, quite a number of innovations in terms of ICT applications are also originating from Kenya. <laughs> and finally, I'd like to ask you, what message would you hope to share at ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok? I, I think I want to um, uh, share with the other uh, colleagues that are going to Bangkok, not only to exhibit, but also to see what others are doing. That the bottom line of the, uh, of, of the idea is transforming the lives of the world, the people's world using the ICTs. And every morning they wake up to go to see what is happening in the ITU world. I think the message should be, what am I going to see there to transform the lives of the, of, of the people of our world? And I think that is the message that I can give to them. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Wangusi, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you very much.